Here's the breaking news from MetLife Stadium. Brian Robinson Jr., the running back for the Washington Commanders, is out for today's game. Missed a couple of practices this week with a sore hammy. Add that to the sore knee, and B-Rob is out. So Austin Eckler, Jeremy McNichols, and the third back, Chris Rodriguez will get the uh, running attack for the burgundy and gold here from East Rutherford, New Jersey. Welcome all folks into Commander's Kickoff from MetLife Stadium. It's a very crowded sideline right now here on the, I'm on the giant side of my way. I want to say who set this up for me. Uh, it is a beautiful, crisp Sunday morning, but of course that news, B-Rob being out. It's the two and six not so giant against the six and two Washington Commanders. And of course, they're still trying to get over last week's win over the Chicago Bears. So that's the news that B-Rob is out. Jeremy, uh, excuse me, Austin Eckler will be the main back featured for this Washington Commanders offense. Of course, Jaden Daniels can run as well. That's it from here for just a short, short spell. Second back game with our DC studios and my, my broadcast partners, Wisdom Martin, and Sean Springs, and so a developing situation here for the Burgundy and Goldfellas, although they have done this before. Right, right, yeah, you know, and it's not good news when you don't have Brian Robertson because, Robinson because he's the hammer, yep. and I think he's key to the offense that, that gets this going. So, so here's the thing, Sean. These two teams played each other just a little more than a month and a half ago. We yep. saw so what happened. Since then, though, the Commanders and the Giants, they're like the inner and the outer loop of the Beltway. <laughs> Completely different directions. You know, you got the, 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 the Commanders are winning, and the Giants are losing. It's that right. simple. The Giants two and five. So, New York has lost three straight. They're yes. still a problem, have been in the problem, a problem for this team in the past. What say you about this being a rivalry game, a division game? Well, first of all, I don't like hearing the news that Brian Robinson, who had 133 right. yards uh, in week two against the Giants, is mm -hmm. out because we need that hammer against pretty tough defensive front and right. Dexter, led by Dexter Lawrence and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a division game, like you said, on the road. We got to go on a road in the month of November. I'm going to tell yeah. you about the month of November. Okay. The contenders <laughs> versus the pretenders. Yeah. This is the month you decide whether you're going to be the team that's going to make a run for the playoffs. Right. Or you're going to kind of sputter a little bit and mm -hmm. the opportunity to miss. And we and we got to start by winning the second half, the, the month of November. Right. Starting in New York where we go up there and we got to get all over Daniel Jones. Right. And you said you mentioned Daniel Jones. He yep. has had a tremendous amount oh, of success. Man. For some reason, this is the only team he's still got a winning record against. It's five, two and one in his career versus Washington. We got to stop that. That's got to yeah. end today. And, 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 and you, when you think about it, if Daniel Jones could just only play us, he'd be like the winning his coach. <laughs> he'd be the winning his uh, quarterback in like NFL history. Yeah, it, it has to stop today, and it, and it has to. Go, we have to take the team up. We got to take that momentum that we had coming off last week's game. The hail mary, everybody's still excited. Mm -hmm. That momentum needs to travel. We need to go to New York. We need to jump on those guys early. And guess what? It starts with getting after Daniel Jones. It starts with that, and starts and ends with that. So. So let's get back out to Chick right now. He's at Northwest Stadium. He's talking about uh, how we're going to get ready for this game now that we know that Brian Robinson's uh, not going to be there and, and all the other things that we got to do to get ready for the New York football Giants. Yeah, well, listen, you guys, you mentioned Daniel Jones. I mean, he's 0 for 6 at home. Yeah. 0 for his last 6 at home. He's been horrible here. So that's a good that's the good news for the Washington Commanders. But you guys talked about it, and Sean, you mentioned it. It's momentum, right? After that Hail Mary win over the Chicago Bears, how do you keep the momentum? Well, on my weekly conversation with DQ, he said he preached reaching out to your teammate. You and I, we can take our skills to a certain level. But to get to the next one, you gotta tap into the person next to you. And if you do that, and you can collectively do that as a group and take your skills higher, that's when the fun stuff's there. And so that's what I love about the team is that they're collectively wanting to fight for one another. And that's when the really cool stuff can happen. You can hear the rest in the entire conversation uh, with DQ on WUSA 9 Plus. Been some really good conversations over the first eight weeks. All right. Wisdom, Sean, keep me up. 